Hi there and welcome to the channel of A Disappointed Man with me Jason Kennedy, The Disappointed Man. And in this video I'm going to do two things. I'm going to look ahead to July and show you the books I'm going to try and review. And as part of that you'll also see my recent book haul from the used bookstores here in Taiwan. So let's get started. Now of course in July we'll have Saki, The Complete Saki Part 2 those short story collections. And then this one that I just found is um, Robertson Davies' Fifth Business. I've already finished it. It's very interesting, so I'll look at that. And then The Bride of Lammermoor by Walter Scott, which is paired with Jonah's Gourd Vine by Zora Neale Hurston. I've already read those two. And then, as promised, The Foundation Pit. Now, there is a problem with this. The uh, type is extremely small so I'm having to read it using using these you know which yeah terrible isn't it I could start my own art rock band those. so that is slowing me down somewhat now this next pile they're all the uh, the book haul stuff and I'm, I may not get through all of these but I'll just show them to you and we have here George Douglas Brown the house with the green shutters supposedly the only thing he produced worth reading. I've already started it, it's quite interesting. Claude Mackay, Home to Harlem, Harlem Renaissance writer. I'm really excited about that very quirky find here in Taiwan. Thomas Mann, The Holy Sinner. Another Henry James for my sins, The Portrait of a Lady. This looks good. Three absurd dramas. Ionesco, Adamoff, Arambal. Edward Elby, I've read that one. That's quite amusing. Nothing is known about this guy by me. James Aggie. Death and the Family. Graham Greene, The Quiet American. Another Francis Hodgson Burnett in the children's literature series. This time it's A Little Princess. That should be fun. And then a sci-fi, the first one I've mentioned on this channel. Now, I have read this before, but I didn't have it in Taiwan. That is Alfred Bester, The Star's My Destination. Now, I usually just deal with classic works. And actually, this is a classic work of sci-fi, but it's also modelled on a classic novel. The Count of Monte Cristo, one of my favourites. A Tale of Revenge. And then I found these, I, I probably won't review them, but The Life of Graham Greene. Lots of good pictures in here, actually. And, and amazingly thick. Then even more exciting was I found this, The Unforgiving Minute, A Life of Kipling. Now Kipling's autobiography is rather taciturn, despite being very finely written, so maybe there'll be more juice in that one. And then I'll show you a book I picked up on eBay, the only one that I specifically ordered this month. So excited about it. British Writers of the 30s by um, Valerie Cunningham. This is one of the two um, critical works which are um, um, authoritative with regard to this era that are always drawn upon. The other one's Samuel Hyens and I've got that too. This one is just great and it's brand new despite being billed as used. So any um, recommendations or suggestions for other stuff I could, I could slip into my reading list. I'm very flexible. Any notes um, with regard to what you may be reading in this coming month? would be uh, very interesting and stimulating for me to look at too. And please do check out my last review of Muriel Sparks, The Driver's Seat. It seems to be sinking without a trace. I think I uploaded it at a bad moment Thursday morning. So it was very good. And um, head over there and have a look at it. And I shall finish by repeating my mantra. Be safe, be strong, and I shall see you anon. Nanu nanu.